ripping. It's ripping? It's ripping, dude. All right, we're ripping. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be discussing, so pretty much you're wanting to buy a Subaru, things to know and look out for before buying a Subaru. Um, me and Chris is here with me today. Yeah, guys. He's had a couple of Subarus in the past, but you're just thinking about things to tell you guys what to look out for when you're buying a Subaru. So, first off, they're not cheap cars. So get your wallet out. They're not cheap, unfortunately. Even WRXs, they hold their value. Um, the biggest problem with these cars would be a motor. Try to find one closer to stock. Obviously, closer to stock is gonna be more money. This car was not cheap. I got a bone stock. Um, with 39,000 miles so obviously that's kind of a unicorn especially for the year but I would say try to go for under 100,000 but hey everyone has a different budget you could get one that's fine with 150,000 miles as long as the maintenance is done that's the second thing you're gonna want pretty much the 100,000 mile maintenance um, which is the water pump uh, timing belt trans and diff fluid flushed um, I'm pretty sure it's it. The timing belt comes with the kit of everything, pretty much. I did Gates timing belt. It's a good brand. Um, I personally didn't do it. Doesn't matter who does it. Make sure it's someone reputable that knows. It was a Subaru technician that did mine. And uh, hey, it's every 10 years or 100,000 miles. So it's not. Oh, my car doesn't have 100,000 because this didn't have 100,000. But it's also 20 years old. So it's getting dry rotted. You don't want thing that thing to snap. Then your motor's gone. Um, Second thing I would say, um, the steering racks on the newer models, as well as the older models, they do tend to leak. This is low mile, so I can't really give you guys too much of a good example. Knock on wood, hopefully it doesn't go anytime soon. Um, but they did 08 to 14 years. Uh, my friend Tom's hatch, he just upgraded his to a 15 STI. Uh, rack which is about 800 bucks so give or take with labor it's maybe 1500 bucks to replace the um, steering rack because they do start to leak unfortunately so if that's done that's another plus that's a bill off of your um, cost so you don't really need to negotiate that with the previous owner me personally owners wise I know I'm going all sporadic but it's just things that keep hitting my head owners wise oh, the GoPro died um, that was the Hero 10 new upgrade this is the eight, so quality might be a little bit lower. Okay, before this one dies too. Uh, Carfax, check the Carfax, get the VIN, pay for that. You wanna see that, accidents, sometimes it doesn't bother people. This car had a little bit of an uh, accident that reported on it. Silly, rear-ended, not a big deal. Um, but titles, you know, salvage title, do you wanna buy that? You know, look out for that. Some people don't mind it. Make sure uh, the miles wasn't rolled back. Yeah, the miles. That's another, that's another Some, big thing. The people on the older Subarus, I don't even know if the new ones, they, they'll swap the clusters and stuff. I've seen some crazy stuff. Check the owner, feel them out. I bought this off of an older lady, which is very rare. But older people, more mature people have had the car. Usually 10 less less owners, this is one owner before me, will know the car more. It wouldn't be like, oh, but this guy, blah, blah, blah. Then, then that guy, the story keeps rolling, gets twisted. You don't want that. So just make sure the background of the car is good. It's just like checking someone before you employ them for your job. You want them to, you, you want to check their background history pretty much. Um, Another thing, paint. Paint is very soft in these cars. I have PPF installed on my front. I'm probably one of the few, you can actually see that some slight imperfections here. It's on the hood, we'll so that up. you can pretty much scratch this and it'll be fine. It's a, the PPF film on my front i want to do the bumper but i definitely do the hood and fender that's a lot of uh contact from the road um so the paint is very thin on these cars unfortunately mine's java black pearl so it's got that nice flake in it um but yeah paint is very thin if it's very swirled up and sometimes it does start to sun fade on the um even the newer ones like oe hatches and stuff on the wings it could fade so check that out because paint isn't cheap in a body shop something to look out for um what else have we got transmission you talk transmission. transmissions wx's don't like upgraded clutches keep it oem sti's can some people have like a stage two clutch in a five speed they don't like that they don't like that if the clutch is upgraded on a five speed it's not it's not the best thing for it it'll run but it's not the best thing you want oem with the five speed six speed this is a stage two it's fine 
um, Frankenstein builds, meaning like mix and match parts and stuff, because people go crazy with like these Like a cars. WRX with a STI head. Where is that? Did they make it a day? Because it's a 2.5. Yeah, they uh, get... Where is it? Yeah. I'm almost positive EJ2, it is. The 205. I don't know. They flip these... They flip around. Also, the... I'm very sporadic. It's called a hybrid. Yeah, that's a hybrid. Like a Frankenstein all put yeah. together. Valve cover gaskets, make, you can check that, it's right by the oil stick in this car. You pretty much want to see if it's like seeping oil. Um, a little bit's okay, it's kind of normal. This car actually has just a slight bit. Just get it checked out. If you don't know the car, get someone who's reputable and look at the car. Compression test. Compression test is a big thing. I personally didn't for this car. It was an old lady, not a different scenario. But for the most part, get a compression test or tell that person to get a compression test. Um, should be reading accurate numbers. Um, access port tunes aren't the best for the car. Definitely get it pro tuned. Um, make sure the numbers are all, you know, normal. Maintenance, blah, blah, blah. And I mean, don't beat the crap out of the car. <laughs> They're not bulletproof, but you also can get on it and have fun. Check your oil. Uh, make sure the oil is good. I put Rotella T6. There's a couple other good reputable brands. Um, AMS oil is very good. I've used that. I think that's in it right now, actually. I had AMS. Expensive, but it's good oil. Put quality oil in the car. Don't beat the crap out of the car. Let it warm up. Just take care of the car. Um, make sure the owner before that did that. You know what I mean? And that's, that's really it. Um, Just do your research, people. Modifications. You know? These cars don't like blow off valves. It's not a big thing. Yeah, blow like valves, valves are not good, no good for these motors. Sounds cool. All right. Go buy a Supra and sound. Like, <laughs> these cars don't like that. Yes, they can be tuned for it. I'm sure it'll run. Oh, we'll have mine 150,000 miles. Okay, that's the one guy who's lucky. Hey, you can test your limit. I'm just saying they're not good for this car. Blow off valves. I literally have a catted downpipe, an exhaust, and a high flow air filter on this car. These cars don't like to be heavily modified. And if they are, you're gonna have a lot of problems. Open up your wallet. <laughs> I swear. Open up your wallet. Because these cars, if you wanna go fast, this is not the car to buy. That is Unless it. Unless you got a lot of money to spend and blow, which they are cool fast. But hey, I'm not the person spending fifteen, twenty thousand dollars into this car to make it four or five hundred horsepower. I'll go buy a different car. I did that. So <laughs> that's today's video of what to look out for in buying a Subaru. Good luck guys, comment, uh, reach out on Instagram. I'm always open, nothing famous, message me, I answer. Um, Instagram, TikTok, it's all the same, Vincent Pepino. And um, yeah guys, I know I've been a little bit inactive. Getting, uh, I'm upgrading my stuff, got a new GoPro. We're getting back out there though. We're gonna make a video with Chris's Civic soon. Budget build, clean budget build because the quality in cars is dropping very much and they say they don't have money. Chris's car is very low budget and it looks phenomenal. So that's the next video we're gonna make uh, probably tomorrow and I'll post it whenever. So stay tuned guys, subscribe, see you in the next one.